Hello there, and welcome back to Star Citizen. Uh, for those who are long-time subscribers of the channel, yes, I am back. I have had some health issues that have kept me from recording for a while, but those are starting to improve, so hopefully I'll be creating some more content much more often in the near future. And uh, for those who might have stumbled on this channel fresh, thank you for coming. Uh, if you guys would like to please subscribe, I'll have that down down here somewhere in the bottom corner. And uh, if everyone would like the video, that'd be appreciated as well. If you are here and you are for some reason not already a member of the Star Citizen community, there'll be a link uh, up in the top of the screen with a referral code. You can use that to get some extra starting money in-game. And uh, as well, you'll be able to help out the channel a bit there. Each of those referrals uh, adds to my total and helps me get some more free stuff that I'll be able to try out and show on the channel. So, thank you very much, and uh, let's go ahead and get into the video. Why not? Well, I mean, the whole point of the drive-in, drive-out is that you don't have to back it in. Oh, that looks awesome. I can't even see where you are. I'm in the pilot seat still. Oh, you just watched me reverse. I'm in third person watching you drive it in, yeah. Now, loop around to the back and actually drive it through. Watch me skid for a first. Yeah, I have I have heard that they drift a bit. I just I love watching it kick up dust like that though. Uh I won't be able to get it in the back of yours, I don't think. Oh am I not flat? It... Uh no, you're on a slight uh don't worry about it. Oh. Drive it in the front and out the back then. You can make that. You can make that jump coming out. I was going to go scare the Connie pilot, or is he yeah. taking off? No, he landed on the far side of the. No one's using the pads. That's because they're really aggressive about booting you off. Lovely. There you go. In and out. All right, I'm going to get out of the pilot seat now and come have a, a closer look at it. I'm just going to go scare the Connie. All right. Did he go into the trading hub? I, I didn't actually see where the pilot went. I'm just going to park in front of the trading hub door, so as soon as he comes out, there's just my turret looking at him. Very nice, yeah. I'm going to pull the Rock DS while we're here as well, so you can have a look at it. Is my hook still on? I must have left it on because it's kicking up a lot of dirt. The volumetric effects they've added in have been are awesome. They add a lot more to it. Oh, it's beautiful. Like yours being on fire the other day, and it's just that the cargo bay fulling of smoke. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, I'm gonna pull a DS. Pull, pull your Nova first, because like pull Nova first. All right, yeah. Because you've not played around with your Nova yet, have you? No, I haven't. And I'm I'm still convinced that the DS is going to have a place soon. So many people are are 
shitting on it, but... <laughs> yeah, he's just come out the trading hub and I'm just parked here with my Nova. He's now run and got back into the Connie. <laughs> He's probably just trading and not bothered about you. Well, I mean, I would have thought, as like a random player, I'd probably want to run up and see what these were like. Yeah, unless I, he's already... I would. Unless he's already messed with one. He might be a subscriber yeah. too, and I've already seen it. Although, why would you be trading in a Connie if he's a subscriber? The C2's got more. This it? is true. That makes no sense. If you're a subscriber, you'd take the C2. Yeah. And I mean, there's better ships for trading than a Connie. Yeah. In a lot of places. The one Connie that you might possibly have for trading is the Taurus, which is the one that's not out yet. Alright, I've got a tank on pad one. Damn, it looks big on that pad. It basically goes through any debris. <laughs> and the pilot can fire the main gun. Yep. I've not actually even got into the, any of the other seats yet. I think it's nice that the pilot can control the gun or have someone else do it. I think that's a really nice touch. And also the fact that it is still better to have someone else do it because you have a better range of motion. So the back ramp on mine is actually right to the floor, so it should be okay for loading on the back of mine. Nice. So what I'm thinking is we load up the Novas onto mine and some rocks oh, onto up. yours. Yeah, that works. We could probably fit a couple of tanks and possibly still fit a rock onto mine. Are we using yours, are you? Because we've got the military bits on yours. It doesn't matter to me. We're not going far with it. Oh, this is lovely. And it skids so nicely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, rear ramp on mine's perfectly set up. Oh, I just ramped it on a rock. It goes up. <laughs> Nothing mm. stops it. You know what I love about it as well? This right here. All the dust. No. Because it's treads, it can actually turn a circle in place. Go on then, after you. Let's in and out. <laughs> like a hot load. No comment. You got a little bit of air going up that ramp. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Loading at speed might not be recommended. No, and the gun barrel definitely scrapes the ceiling if you go in the front door. Mm. I want to get to the edge of Armistice and try out the gun. How far away is the edge of Armistice? I'm just leaving it now. Okay. Park up where it's... It's expired then, and I'll come to the park up next year. We can fire him in tandem. Oh, <laughs> oh 
I'm so tempted to blow you up. Hey. That was nowhere near you. I, I, I took damage from your hit. Really? Yes. Fuck me, I'm sorry, because like, that was like, from where you are, it was here. No, I took damage from your hit. That's why I fired back. Yeah, but w where I aimed at was like this far away from you. Well, obviously it uh, it has a blast effect. Right, let's get into the turret then. Because I've not tried the turret seat yet. No, I haven't tried any of the other seats yet. All right. Okay, that's cool. Exit, okay. Enter remote turret, oh, there we go. shit, shit, shit. What? I didn't come to a full stop before I got out of the uh, pilot seat, so I'm still rolling. Out of daft. Do you need me to shoot you and stop you? No, I, I jumped back into the pilot seat and stopped. That's a little unfortunate. If you uh, are in the remote turret, you can't use the external view. That is a bit. So I can't see what... The, the audio for that, when you fire that gun. Mm. Right, now how do I turn on the... Uh... So there's a power switch. Got it. Yeah, and then there's an... Once you've turned it on, then you enter the remote turret with another switch on the sort of like top right-hand qu quadrant. Or is it like mid mid-right quadrant? Oh, wow. Into remote turret. There we are. Oh, okay. I've jumped into the uh, the machine gun turret. Or the laser turret. Are you at Which seat did you use? The commander's seat? The co-pilot seat. Yeah, no. The, the, so the actual gunner seat is further back. Yeah, no, I know. I, I, was, I wanted to check this one out. I'm trying to work out what this scrolling does. Because it's not like zoom. So when you scroll up and down in the main turret seat, there's a little slider that scales up. Yeah, it actually does it in the, uh, the, the, the machine gunner seat as well. But it doesn't seem to actually do anything. Shall I tag you once with the machine guns and see what damage they do? No. Because these only have shields and they have no armor. All right, I'm going to jump in the turret itself now. The positioning of the turret is really cool as well. Let's have a little bit of a look around. And what I want to do is look above each other's tanks. got quite a long reload on it, doesn't it? Um, one, two, three, four, five, five seconds. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not that bad. You can still fire, what, 50, uh, 12 shots a minute. Yeah. What were you saying about looking above each other's? Hey. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Don't make me shoot you back. Well, one shot, go on. Seems I accidentally shot you. I was. <laughs> um, Michael. Yes. <laughs> that 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 was that was one shot. Uh, you disbanded the party, or no? It said you just, and I've got an option to to, to decline or accept. 
for you, you committing you, homicide. You can you, you can decline that. Uh, I mean, I obviously didn't hit you directly. I knew I was shooting over you. I didn't think I'd hit you directly. Otherwise, I would have killed you. But okay, so the tanks are one shot kills. Well, that was. Uh... Well, no, it's not always a one shot kill because you did hit me, and I, I you, you must have had. A I was a, I, yeah, I was aiming over the top of you. I wasn't actually aiming at your tank, which is yeah, why when so you, you went, yeah. So I wonder if the just the, is it a mag like a magrail type ballistic weapon? Yeah. I wonder if just the uh, uh, proximity to the shell causes. Yeah, it's got a bit of a yeah just like heat damage or something i'm i'm checking out your exploded tank now uh is my perk still there um hang on my tank seems to be stuck Ooh, why do i have an aegis avenger titan uh did you rent it or maybe it's oh no i think that's the ship that's given to everyone for the free fly week Oh, okay. I'm just going to pull that and come and pick my Herc back up. Yeah, your Herc is still here. Yeah, I'll come get my Herc. Are you, are, you, oh. are, you taking, are you taking your stuff and going home now? Uh, I mean... I wasn't expecting you to kill me, you bastard. Hey, you shot me and you said one shot back, so I did one shot back. Yeah. I wasn't expecting I... that to kill you either, but, you know. Hey ho, live and learn. Obviously, Mate. I'm a better shot. Please tell me you recorded that. Oh yeah, this is all this is all being recorded right now. <laughs> yep. My embarrassment online for the world to see. I mean, it really shows how effective the tank is. Well, it also shows how ineffective the tank is because... Yeah, they need to fix the armor. Yeah. Although, I mean, to be fair, they say that one shot from this gun will take out, like, a Cutlass Black. So... Yeah, but a Cutlass Black isn't an armored tank. True. But how the fuck do I get into this, then? Alright, there we go. The thing is, though, right now this tank is not armored. Armor, the armor has not yet been implemented. So that that's the problem. Yeah. Oh, this is a cute little, a cute little ship. The Titans are nice. There's not much to it. The Titans are actually what a lot of people recommend for for like a beginner ship, and it's actually the ship that uh, my brother has. I can see why they give it for a free fly. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of one step up from the basic like Aurora starter package, but not as high as something like a Cutlass or a Freelancer or something like that. Right, I'm pulling the DS, so whenever you come back, you can have a look at that. I'm just gonna. Oh wow, it's. Uh... I suppose I've been flying the Herc, so. Uh... It's, it's, it's nimble, yeah. Yeah, I've just uh, rotated round and almost made myself feel motion sick. <laughs> right, I've set warp to you. So, where is. Oh, this this paint job on the rock is nice. I'll come and have a look. It it looks like a proper construction vehicle now. I really hope, as I said, that they let uh, custom paint jobs come in at some point where you can just paint your ships you how you want. I don't care about having to spend in in game currency on doing that. I'll pay a million credits to paint my herc whatever color I want. If that makes sense. Um. It's been talked about as a, a maybe in the future. 
but they're probably not going to do it anytime soon when they can make money off selling. Well, what they've actually said is that um, the paint system will be like for painting panels a, a specific color, but you might you probably won't be able to do like patterns. And the stuff that they're selling is going to be more like patterns and yeah. Yeah, I'll probably have a mix of both and stuff if that makes sense. So and I have a I have a bunch of paints on my profile, even for ships that I don't own. Because the thing is, if you've got the paint on your profile, then if you rent the ship or buy the ship in game later, you still can use it. So, like, I used some of my my credits to uh, pick up the Invictus paint schemes for the ships. Because they're really yeah. nice, like blue and gold color scheme. This ship is really quite cute. It's nice, isn't it? I like the rear sort of thruster design. <laughs> right, I'm coming in at a little warm. Where are you? There you are. Please don't shoot me. I'm in a rock. Well. You're still appearing as a red contact. That's because I killed someone recently. <laughs> I wonder who. I mean... I think there should be something said about the fact that they said, you know, have a shot. And actually, did you press charges? Because I've got a crime stat. No, I declined the charges, but I think you get a crime stat anyway. Oh, no, I know what happened. What? You declined the homicide, but I got a, a property dest destruction charge for the tank. <laughs> <laughs> well... Sucks to be you. Well, come check this thing out. I will do. I'm just. Oh, that's cute. I didn't realize it had an internal little cargo bay that you could walk yeah. through. Yeah, it's got an interior and a small car. I think it's like 30 SCU or something. That's why yeah. a lot of people recommend it is for like box missions and uh, things like that. You can you can do quite a bit with it. As a well, it's not only that is you can actually use the you can get in and out of the ship from the front as well. You don't even have to go through the back. Yeah. I have to say all my all my issues with the the kind of logic of some of the parts of the design of this, I do really like the way it looks. Yeah, my my issue is that seat should should have been enclosed. I agree. Especially since I don't think it has much more range of movement. Uh, get it, into it, and actually you'll see that it does. I love the animation for it. Better range of movement. Uh, wait a sec. Let me power on. Okay. The arm, yeah. the arm extends out, and not only that, it's got two and a half times the range of the other one. So you it's can got hit quite things. a nice little panel. Yeah, you can hit things and pick up things from two and a half times further away. Okay. That's uh Oh, uh, uh Uh remember I'm not in very good armor for going off anywhere.
Well, your front ramp has a uh, gap on it. Yeah, uh, but the rear ramp's nice and nice and smooth. Your front ramp's almost as smooth as my rear ramp. Oof! You hit the roof. Now, if I go slowly, well, can I avoid hitting the roof? Or am I yeah, going to smack you... you into it again? Yeah, you just want to go slow, because it's as you go over the crest, you absolutely smash. <laughs> um, I... I'm a little bit higher up as well. I know, that's what I was saying. Is, am I going to smash you into the roof? Oh, no, no, you're clear. As long as you go slowly, it doesn't jump. So how many of these do you think we could fit in here? A dozen? Well, I reckon... With some creative parking, I don't reckon you could get a dozen in. You Half get a dozen, easy. Yeah, I reckon you could get six in. I reckon you could definitely get the uh, ro normal rocks in. So let me pull my rock in. All right. Uh, let me just uh, get out. I think the I think they did a great job with the animations on it. I, I think that that seat should have been enclosed, or a lot of people have also said that it could have been uh, another seat behind the pilot, and just been. A well, remote... to be, they could have made the the cab a little bit wider because you mm -hmm. don't need because it could have come out in between these sets of tires, and yeah. just being like a double cab, and just being side by side. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the Nova's cool. I've not compared the Rock and the Rock DS side by side. I love that. Someone's like, please leave the game so my friend can join. It's like, or you could Leave. Yeah, join. Leave the game and join the server with you, friend. Right, claiming my destroyed Nova. <laughs> who, who who destroyed your Nova? Some dick. Not worth learning their name. Fair enough. He's he's just the one that's going to put you on YouTube to be you know laughing. Yeah. Is my one shot comment going onto YouTube? Yeah. Or are you not recording the audio? Oh no, I'm recording the audio as, audio as well. <laughs> Dick it. Yeah, this is why my videos are all marked not for children. Because you show up in some of them. <laughs> not sure I like, <laughs> like the inference there. Why? Because it's accurate? <laughs> Dead. Like I said, you've got that basic paint scheme. The tires are uh, much fatter, aren't they? Yeah, it's a lot more stable as well. Hey. Is it? <laughs> I didn't even do that. Why am, <laughs> I'm why am I ramping up on you? I love how quick and nimble this is. Yeah. Let's let's see if this one's as quick as that one. Can I catch you? Uh, have you noticed something? What? Where's my hurt? <laughs> it despawned. What the fuck? I can't. Okay, we're well, having a drag race. Sure. Yeah. Nice let's... Let's aim out into the open area. Okay. Uh, are you lining up with my front wheels or my back wheels? Uh, I was kind of lining up central, not sort of like the cab. Makes sense. Uh, on your marks. Good set. 
Go. I think I might even. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I, I hit a big jump there and it turned me sideways. You're just a bad driver, really, aren't you? And then I nearly hit some guy's destroyed Nova tank. They run good, though. They've definitely fixed a lot of the flipping issues. On the, the normal grey cat, you're bouncing around all over the place. I'm hitting rocks, though, that, that are, that's doing that. I mean, just turning before would have flipped you. You know what I mean? I'm donutting this at the minute. Mm-hmm. I can't see where you've gone. I'm near the destroyed Nova. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a good landmark. Some, some idiot telling someone to shoot him and getting himself blown up. I can't see where you've gone, though. I'm oh, there you are. The... Ah, uh, can someone just not have donuts in peace? <laughs> I mean, this is fun. Just not even using it for what it's supposed to be used for, but just running around in it. Oh, that's a big rock. Oh, I jumped over it. Nice. Oh, yeah. You'll be able to fit loads of these in. Oh, yeah. The big question is, can you fit one of those and one of these side by side? Down here, where it's a bit fatter, probably. Oh, with space, with room to spare. I reckon you can get three of these side by side, these smaller ones, and maybe two or, of those. Or by two of, yeah, two of the DS. And you can probably fit one, two, I think three, possibly these... four. Well, DS is side by side. No, end to end. I'm yeah. thinking two by four. I think you could fit eight DSs in here. Or three, six, fifteen rocks. It be a, yeah. As as long as no one's expecting to get out of their rock. There's no clearance issue on the roof though, is there? <laughs> no, not if you don't uh, ramp in. That there is enough room to three point turn one of these around. Mm -hmm. Not that you need to, I know, but. No, the whole point is you don't need to. I like the sound of them as well. You want to give this one a drive around and see what it feels like? Yeah, go for it. Uh, let me just. I'll jump in yours and have a have a little bit of a just follow you around and see what you how you go. Oh yeah, yours is environmentally cooled as well, isn't it? Yep. Because <laughs> the normal rock isn't. Nope. Assistance. 
the turning circle's definitely a bit bigger, but... Well, yeah. Systems off. Where have you gone? Other side of the Herc. I'm just doing a big circle. I'll be back there in a second. Oh, there you are. I keep on looking at that tiny little ramp at the back of the uh, Titan, just like, nah, you can't fit a normal rock up that, but you could try. You can't. <laughs> Not with the wheel still attached. <laughs> Please don't. I mean, That's you, my you only way off. Your rock, so. Yeah, it's my only way off this planet when you abandon me. Yeah, exactly. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Look, I told you that. See if that one will fit. I'll jump in the C2 now and, and, and run off and steal your rock. No, see, what you want to do is watch me go into the C2 like you did earlier and see how much of a, a launch you get. All right. <laughs> uh, I slow down there as well. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that will fly. I just jumped. Probably about 30, 50 feet. I, I didn't. I cleared most of the entire bay. I basically landed, jumped off one ramp and landed on the other ramp. Hey, this rock is actually showing damage. Oh, well, let's just abandon it. I've, I've got. I, I want to see if you can see that as well. The top of my rear left wheel has a huge gash in it. Yeah, all the side paneling smashed up as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Oh, the battle damage is actually looking quite nice. Now, you see, if I crash this into you... Do I get... Don't worry, I'm not going to. Oh. I'm I'm getting a close-up of the uh, battle damage right now. Well, I say battle damage, the... the... Well, you want the, damage. The... Give me a sec. Where's the tank? You're going to blow me up. What we want to do is actually take out the tank with a, dry, a pilot and a gunner. Yeah. Uh, do we want to put these, drive these back up and store them or anything? Can do. I don't think I've ever stored one of these properly. No, nor have I. You just drive them on... How do you store them? Do you just... I don't know if you have to be on the pad or not. Uh, yeah, let's park them on the pad and then go in and see if we can store them. It says I'm obstructing the parking area and it's going to impound the vehicle in a minute. Well, I mean, it's free. It doesn't cost any money, does it? No. I'll still jump in and see if I can store it before then. Warning, you're blocking an active flight bay. Yeah, I'm getting that as well. You in? Warning, you are yep, I was about to cycle it. I was about to cycle it, and then you ran into me. That arm is so much gold. The legs are so much more gold than the legs I have, I'm sure. I don't know how you store them. Uh... I have a store button oh. on mine. 
I have a store button on mine. Oh yeah, because you'd you'd request landing you'd request landing permission really through the com chat normally, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, it wants me to claim the C two Starlifter, <laughs> so I'll fa I'll file a claim for that. Is there anything else to check out? Well, I think I had a couple other vehicles to check out. Oh, yeah, I'm going to check this one out. What are you checking out? A Tumbral Cyclone. Fun. Oh, that's basically the armed jeep, isn't it? Yep. You coming out? Yeah, yeah I, I just opened the doors and then you shut them. Uh, uh, I'm on the oh, other you... side. <laughs> Your internet, man. Check. Check. The volumetric. Oh, that looks think, awesome. I don't think the turrets are working yet. But there is a turret you can get into on the back of it. Is it on the back, is it? Yeah, the turret's at the back. I think you actually stand in it. You gonna sit in the passenger or are you gonna try the turret? I'm gonna try the turret, I think. Uh I've got about half an hour of I've got twenty six minutes, so uh Enter turret, there we go. Oh nice. Well, we'll get out of uh, arms distance and see if the turret's working. Yep. I mean, I've oh, turned it geez. on. This thing really moves. Yeah, just remember, it's probably going to hit rocks and flip, and my head sticks out. Oh, wow. Um, so look at the... the animation of my arms and stuff when I put the turret all the way up. Oh, nice. The animation looks really good on it. Oh, God, it's inverted. No, no, no it's not. Uh... Uh, let's see. Are we out of... Oh, the turret is working. So I have actually seen footage where two, one of these took out a Nova tank. Oh, nice. Do you want to try your turret? Yes. All right, let me power down then. Or oh, oh, hang on, I'll just keep. Down. There we go. It's let me out now. Oh, and you got out through the side. That was a bit odd. All right, I'll get into the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. You can see how this thing moves now. It's. Uh... Oh my god, that, that's like rocking horse shit. It's uh, it's a bit quick, isn't it? It shouldn't be that quick. I do love the wheels, though. This is this thing is designed as a fast attack vehicle. I don't see how you can oh. get anything in this tur in this turret though when you're moving. Oh wow. <laughs> Jesus. I was spinning the opposite way that you were moving and that was just uh you just... Yeah, this donuts the quickest I've ever seen anything ever donut ever in my life. Mhm. Mm right. Let's head back to the tank. And let's try the turret. Ooh. Ooh. Let's try the turret on the tank with a driver at the same time. Yep. Or the coat. Well, because we're not even sure what the other one does, are we? 
What, the co-pilot? Yeah. Yeah, that's like two laser machine guns on the top. Is that all it does, though? Yeah. Or is it, is it not like a commander position marking targets? Not as of yet, I don't think. I also don't think that the missiles on it are working yet. I thought they were. Oh, maybe they. Maybe I just haven't figured out how to work them. All right, you're gonna drive, and then me in the turret. Can do. I'm just uh, getting out. Do do do, and I will shut the ramp on the way in. I like the fact that it has its own little ramp and just boom. Mm -hmm. It's just, I mean, it's just nice. I think, I don't know if the missiles are from the turret or if the missiles are the co-pilot. Oh. Missiles, there they are. Right, uh, I'll get us out of... Uh... It's got 24 Ignite 2 missiles. That's pretty decent. What have you done? Uh, flip the tank on the side. And well done. So it has an it has a self recovery mechanism. The gunner. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> it's hard to see all the rocks in this, oh, and it's really noisy inside when you're in the internal view. Yes, it is. That the barrel animation is just lovely. Now what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna move to the co pilot feet. And while we're sitting here messing, someone's gonna come along and kill me for my crime stat. Probably. But could I shoot that C two over there? Who's C two? Your C two. Yeah. Yes, I can. And I, it's now sparking. Yeah, give it another shot and it's gone. You think? Uh, I think someone did say it was basically two shots for... How do you get into your gun on this, then? There's an inner remote turret off to the left... Or sorry, the right-hand side. No, two shots did not kill the C2. Three shots didn't kill the C2. I did leave my shields on. Four shots still has not killed the C2. We could try to blow up that Titan instead. Uh, I'd rather you didn't. Nah, I can't hit it from this angle anyway. Not until you kill your C2. Yeah. The effects as it hits the ship, though. Mm. It'd be interesting to go see the damage inside the C2 and see what it's that's, showing. That's what I'm kind of thinking. You want to drive us back? Yep, uh, two seconds. Uh... Get us back inside arm assist. Although you can still be killed in arm assist, can't you? Yep. So really what I should do is just get out of this tank and... Why are you being so lame? There we go.
It's not looking like it's even registering the damage. I wonder if the shields on this are just... Mm. With the military grade... Did you put the military grade shields I on did, it? I did, yes. Maybe they're too strong? Get us just out of armistice. Just like as close as you can, but, in, but out of armistice. Yeah. I'm wondering if it won't hit it because it's in armistice. I wonder if there's like some protection for firing in. It looks I impressive mean, you know, though, doesn't it? You can always fly your ship it out of armistice. True. Shall I? Just to try it out? Yeah, why not? And then I can kill you for your crime stat. <laughs> Oh, you're moving, and I'm trying to get out. I've stopped moving. At, at the end of the night, whenever we've done all of this, I'll stand in front of the tank, and you can shoot me. How's that with the tank? Yeah, why not? See see what a tank does to a person. <laughs> I'll just run you over. <laughs> I, I have a feeling I know what the tank will do to a person, but... Uh... Gonna blow up my big beautiful C2. Um, okay, no, it has taken some damage because there's chunks of metal laying in the cargo bay ram. Okay, so I, I reckon your military grade shields are just recharging better than the civilian. Right, well, what I might do is uh, just turn the shields off then. But I'm not seeing any like volumetric smoke damage. You did more damage to the, your C2 landing it the other day. <laughs> this is true. No, you know what? I am going to go ahead and fly it out of armistice just to make sure that's not a factor. So how do you aim the turret when you're the driver? I'm not sure. You can't. I don't think you can. I think it's just wherever you're, you're pointing. Which is like I said, that's why you've got a lot less range of motion. Oh yeah, just just there, right there. I want to see if I can fire right through your cargo bay. Yeah. I'll let you see if you can fire right through without actually doing... Self-status... Um, you know what? I, I, I registered the hit there, but it doesn't look like it did much damage. These shields I didn't actually are... hit you. No, you did actually hit me, because everything flashed red for a second. I was aiming, like, two or three hundred meters ahead of you. Well, I don't see how, but you, you it definitely did all flash red. Anyway, come get in. I'm, I'm, I want to see you. I'm nearly to the lift already. <laughs> I love the fact it takes, like, five minutes to get out of this ship. Mm-hmm. I mean, it just, I mean, just imagine whenever, we, whenever we're running around in javelins and things, it's going to be getting out of, I got lost in that javelin. Uh, yeah, I, it took me a minute or two to work out what I was, where I was going and what I was doing. And I mean, from what I've heard, and I don't know how accurate this actually is, but from what I have heard, only about 30% of the ship is actually accessible as part of that tour. Well, most of it is uh, off-limits, isn't it? Yeah. 
I mean, you can't go to the bridge, you can't go to engineering, the, the, you can't go to the flight deck. There's lots of things there that you still cannot access. Alright, I'm in the remote turret. I'm going to get come fire up. through. That does look like it's firing through. But now I'm actually going to see if I can do some damage to my C2. I'm just standing outside C2. watching you fire. I can see sparks. Two direct hits to the engine. Three direct hits to the engine. You dropped the shields, didn't you? No, this is with the shields up. I, I thought we'd try it with them up first. So it's looking like with the shields up, it's still not going to uh, destroy... Wait, the it's a ballistic weapon, though, so surely it should be... The shield shouldn't really be doing much. Jump jump up in the small gun and, and pepper it with that as well. That should... Uh... Because energy weapons actually take out shields better than ballistic. Ballistics are made against hull. Let's see what it actually takes to take out a a, 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 a herc. Can, can this tank take out a herc? You can see the shield effect with the laser. Mm -hmm. So yours are going through the shields, because yours are actually floating on the actual ship. I don't have any kind of a HUD for my enemy up here, though. That's that's a problem. Yeah. I've got nothing up here. Okay, yeah, this is not seeming to do it. Okay, so I'm going to jump out. Cease fire for a minute. I'm going to go turn the shields off, and then we'll, we'll do it that way. I'm just going to be shooting it up. Okay, let's say, yeah, don't, don't, yeah, just don't. The firing animation on these is quite cool, with the it four is. little lasers. I'm not showing any other damage. If that's the case, then these shields on this thing are uh, OP impressive. as fuck. They'll get you out of a. Well, the military ones will definitely get you out of a scrapping. Mm -hmm. As that's long as you're not I'm being. Thinking. That that gives me a lot of confidence that if I do get jumped by pirates in this thing, it it will, it will tank it long enough for me to get out of there. Engines on. Engine systems off. All right, we are at full systems off now. I'm getting out again now. And initially, let's just try it just the big cannon and see if we can actually see any pain. Works for me. It's 
so I'm tempted to shoot you right now. Getting out of your firing arc real quick. Oh, no, you're oh, in yes. the, top, you're the top gun. Yeah, I was about to think, yeah. I mean, you're inside my firing arc, because I don't think I can shoot. That's good to know. So it is it is it's worth knowing that this thing's not very great at close Yeah, once things close contact close, inventory. It's problems. I mean at that point though you need a driver to just drive you away. Okay. Let's see now. Aim at that left engine. This is just where the whole thing just That looks that like that looks a like damage. More. Nope. It's just, I don't know. There it goes. Two shots. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, look at how pretty it looks when it all blows up. <laughs> Should we go out and look at the wreckage? Because. Yeah, I can't shoot the wreckage anymore. Yeah, I was more, I want to go and see how much of the cockpit is still, like, visible inside the front. There must be some kind of protection while you're in armistice. Well, and... I think I'm out of ammo. Probably. Yeah, I'm out of ammo now. I'm just having a look at the wreckage. I I, I might have tried to shoot your um your ship. I know you tried to shoot my ship. Uh. Jesus. The model was really cool. Like with all the uh, pipes and wires and... Yeah, come have a look at this front bit where the uh, cockpit would be. Where the cockpit would be. Oh, did that just disappear? Yeah, that's a shame. I, I really hoped that, yeah, it's all despawning now. That is a pity. But, I mean, like, you can see some of the wreckage, wrecked components here quickly if you come where I am. Mm, I see them, yeah. Tell you what, when they get to a point where this, this is persistent and wreckage stays in the world, universe... Well, this is going to be salvage at some point. Yeah, that would be awesome. Because you and me would just fly right up and pick this up and just turn that into some oh, credits. Yeah, yeah you, you can't even get a climb up into it, though, so it's, uh, it's completely mm. screwed up, isn't it? Right. Okay, then. Now, then, shall we blow up the tank next? Oh, no, we've already blown up a tank, haven't we? We've blown up a tank. We want to blow up the uh, tumble. The cyclone? Yep. So, uh, although we haven't actually got any ammo to blow it up because you've. Uh... Oh no, I I might have an idea. You're gonna store it and. No, go go go! Grab the cyclone and drive it out here. Are we gonna blow up the tank with the cyclone? No, I'm gonna try a a, a different approach. You're gonna run over the cyclone in the tank. No, nope, it has nothing to do with the tank. I'm concerned. Just bring the thing out here. I won't shoot you. Again. You told me to the last time. Yeah. One little shot shouldn't have killed me outright in a tank. I'll tell you what, the journey back will definitely be quicker than the journey out. Oh, yeah. Let me let me know when you're close, because I'm, I'm hanging out in the tank right now. I'm close. All right, 
Are you out of armstice? Uh, I am now. Okay, get out of that thing. Uh, you've got your missile launcher, haven't you? Yep. Uh, shit, run. You ready for this? Uh, let me go for it. I kind of went through it and blew up the other side of it. And that fired all three of my shots in one go. Dang. Okay, hang on a second then. Let's try something a bit different. I don't get to try these things out that often. Why are you shooting at me? I'm not shooting at you. Uh, equipment manager. Where's my big submachine gun? Why didn't it... Hang on. It didn't register my change. Okay, here we go. You ready for this one? Give me two seconds. I've never actually fired this thing. Go for it. That didn't... These are not doing as much as I thought, but... That tumbrel's tanking that well. Just fired five railgun shots into it, and it's still... It's fire. on fire. The engine's... Yeah. Are we, I would want to be driving it right now. <laughs> well, no. Right, I think I've got one more magazine for the railgun, so let's just see... Oh, no, that's the... Never mind, I don't have any more magazines for it. Let's see what... I have an idea. Got. I've got something to shoot that with. All right, hang on a second. Give me a second. I know exactly what I can shoot it with. You ready? One second, one second. Let me just change these weapons out. Well, that's more. I'm, I was going to shoot it with something. I know. I was just swapping my weapons to try something else in case yours doesn't do it. Uh, mine will do it. Okay. Where are you? Hasn't done it. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> right. You say you still got crime stat, haven't you? Yes, I do. Uh, let me just take on the bounty missions then. Uh, I don't quick. think I, I don't have enough for a bounty. Take on the uh, um, call to arms, though. Yeah, I was just going to. So, hang on. Why is press F1 and it's just not loading anything? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, do I need... To... I might need to be out of the turret, might I? Okay, yeah. I can't be in the remote turret while I'm trying to do that. Hmm. Okay, so... Rain gun? If it's got ammo... Oh, no, it doesn't have any ammo. Never mind. Where is Call to Arms? That's under... There we go. Accept offer. Alright. Uh, you might need to step further back than that. 
Please don't shoot me. Yeah, uh... Tell me when you can hit me. Oh! What just happened? I shot you. With what? <laughs> what, what are you, were you shooting me with? The turret on the top of the tank. Oh, is that the top turret? Okay, that did not sound like a laser blast. That sounded like something physically hit me. Are you dead now? I'm in jail now. Okay. Well, that's been fun.